little beans. That is all Cape Honeysuckle. That's all from one plant. It covers the whole length of my house and it keeps it fairly cool. The gardener just went and trimmed it from under the eaves for me. That is all Cape Honeysuckle. Oh, it's better. I could only see me in the back of the camera. But that solid wall, so he's just trimmed off all the pretty orange flowers. Oh, hello Flutterby. And it's an extremely hard wood. The mulcher doesn't like it once it's dried. So if you're gonna do anything with it, you have to do it when it's still green. The kite honeysuckle is an interesting plant. And here's some of the Cape Honeysuckle that started on my side of the fence and grew through to the other side of the fence. It starts real easily from cuttings and you can train it to arch over things just the way you trim it. It's not in full bloom right now. And here under the fig tree. You can see how high it can grow. It's grown into the Eugenia. And when they cut the trees down, they cut some of it. But it's growing back in real quick. See, you can make an arch out of it to shade different areas. But that is good old Cape Honeysuckle. And I have no idea how many years it's been growing. But once it takes hold, it just takes off. And the more you trim it, the thicker it gets. Oh no, I, there's the dragon's loot. I think it was Little Bean that asked. Don't quote me now, because I'm brain dead. My brains are baked. What I do with the trimmings from the dragon fruit if I start them again I've always just had the one plant that's one plant I uh, in the years past I put them up free on free cycle and Craigslist the majority of people don't understand that it's cuttings they ask me how I'm supposed to cook the fruit and they want five of them or, and I explain to them, it's the cuttings, you have to grow them yourself, and then they never show up. They want free dragon fruit. Fruit. And little beans on the shopping bag thing. I have no idea what they are, because I had bought a lot of canvas and tote bags prior to the ban on shopping bags. Plastic shopping bags. So I was ready, since they've been talking about it for a couple of years. The trick is leave them in your car and as soon as you get in the car put your purse inside of one of them then you don't forget them that's the hard part is remembering to bring them into the store and to let my girls cool themselves off I fill up a couple of paint roller pans this way it has a shallow end for the little chickens and a deep end for the bigger chickens. And I fill it up sometimes twice a day. But that's what I use to keep my babies cool.